Welcome back to the band guide where we use GarageBand to create professional sounding music. I'm your band guy, Colin, and today I'm just doing a quick video because I got a lot of questions yesterday about how to actually download and get the BX Master Desk Classic. So I want to do a quick walkthrough of a couple things that you need to do in order to get it. So if you haven't already seen that video, I'll link to it above. Be sure to check that out first because otherwise this video won't make a lot of sense. It's a really great plugin that can make mastering super fast and super easy. Now, if you have downloaded it, you think you've done it all correctly and you're not seeing it, then in your preferences in GarageBand, you need to be sure to go over to Audio MIDI and make sure that you enable audio units. This is really important uh, to be able to actually see audio unit plugins, which this plugin will be. And then actually find it under your plugin list, you'll go down to audio units and it's under Plugin Alliance and it's their Master Desk Classic. So that's where that will be. Uh, in GarageBand. And if you're sure you've downloaded it correctly and you're still not seeing it, try two things. One, quit out of GarageBand and reopen it. That might load it up. And two, try restarting your entire computer. That will fix a lot of problems for you. Now to download it, it is a couple step process and I was confused by it initially too. So if you're confused by it, no worries. I definitely get it. So it is free. This is not just a trial. You can get the full plugin for free until November 24th. Uh, using this code right here. So you want to go and copy this, just bx-4-free. Uh, so I'm just copying it. If you hit add to cart, it will add it to the cart. And then we're going to go on to checkout. And from here, you need to enter that code into the use voucher. So we'll use that right there. It's now been added for free. We'll go ahead and go on to checkout again for $0. And then you'll need to make an account if you don't already have one. And then let's jump over to the email that you'll actually get from Plugin Alliance at that point. So once you've successfully completed your order, you'll have to install the installation manager. This is really quick and easy. After you install the installation manager, you wanna select which plugins and which formats you'd like to install. You wanna make sure that you select AU in that process and then once you're in the actual plugin, it will prompt you to enter the same login information for the login that you created. So if we go to the installation manager, you log in with that same information from the website, and then you'll see every plugin that you could download from Plugin Alliance. Go ahead and hit My Products, and then if you're only getting the master desk, just select this, download and install, and that will install it. This does take a couple minutes. That you do get some free plugins just for being part of Plugin Alliance. I haven't used all these yet, so I can't speak to them, but might be worth getting since they are free, going ahead and downloading them and installing them at the same time. And then back in GarageBand, once you've actually downloaded it, it should prompt you and you'll just log in with the same information on the Plugin Alliance website that you created. But if you don't see that for some reason, then click on this key and you can log in there. And as long as you've fully checked out using that code on the Plugin Alliance website, then you'll get access to this plugin forever for free. So be sure to do all of those steps and actually check out in order to actually get it for free. Okay, I hope this was helpful. If you don't already have it, be sure to grab the six step checklist to a pro mix in GarageBand, where I show you all the six steps that all professional mixes have and how to do them inside GarageBand completely free. There's a link in the description below. If you know anyone having trouble, be sure to share this video with them. Let me know if you have any questions and what you think of this plugin in the comments below. I'll see you next week with another video.